Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. Uh, if you're stopping by for another view, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, on today's video, I am going to give you an overview and my experience with my new uh, Bosch uh, dishwasher, which I got about a month ago. And I will also do for the first time my machine care which is recommended uh, when you're using your dishwasher it is important to also uh, do the machine care maintain uh, your appliance so that it can function well for a long time to come so I will crack on uh, as I said before this is a Bosch uh, series 2 um, and I bought it about uh, more than a month ago so it is recommended by the manufacturer that uh, after about two months of use it is important to run a uh, machine care run uh, I am going to do mine because I think it's overdue uh, not because it's two months but because of the amount of um, different cooking that we do so I do feel that it is time for me to actually do my machine care uh, just because I realize uh, every household is different and sometimes it's better to just uh, do your checks uh, a little bit earlier than is recommended so it is recommended that you do uh, wipe down uh, with a damp cloth um, with the washing uh, soap, uh, liquid soap, so uh, that was what I will be doing and then obviously I will be showing you how to remove bits in the machine so that you know what you need to uh, um, manually wash before you actually run the cycle, uh, the machine cycle to clean up uh, the machine. And this is done when the machine is actually empty. So it's usually an empty run on the machine. So what you need to do is pull this because this one, you're able to actually remove it uh, from the machine. And you want to remove your arms. So these are your arms. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, clean the nozzles uh, under running water to make sure that it's not uh, clogged up with uh, food or oily um, bits. The other thing that we need to remove is the filter. So as you can see, the filter is really filthy. Uh, it is actually recommended that um, you remove the filter every uh, cycle that you run the uh, dishwasher i don't do mine every run i do it every couple of days so maybe every two three days is important to remove the filter and clean it up because this is where things can get really messy and the machine can get clogged up and malfunction so we do have two arms so one which is on top and one which is at the bottom so those are the two things that uh, three things that we need to remove and wash them on uh, with running water and make sure that nothing is clogged up and then the other thing is you have the salt uh, container that one is recommended every six months so mine is still a far way um, to be refilled but this is for people who ha live in areas where the water is hard and that is recommended if you are having about uh, 26e so uh, most of the UK we actually do have hard water so it is just goes without saying it is important to actually have special salt uh, before you actually use the machine so that way it means a uh, lime scale is not uh, building up in your machine and making it malfunction in time so those are the bits that we need to actually wash uh, 
manually before we do the empty run on the machine.
so we are ready to run our machine uh, and as i said before it is important to give it a thorough wipe down because on this side as you can see all these bits even though the machine will run and clean itself it's not able to reach uh, the bits that i have just cleaned up so it's important to do the manual wash manual clean as well as run the machine uh, and it's also important to run the machine with uh, a detergent so this is what i use which is fairy uh, platinum three in one so uh, that's what i use for the cleaning and the rinsing which is in the rinsing uh, compartment i use uh, fairy uh, finish uh, rinsing uh, shine so uh we will start we will just choose the right program i will just do the reset and then i choose machine care and then i can be able now to start the program right away so we press that and uh, there we will be starting to run the program which is about two hours and 10 minutes and then after it's done i will show you how it looks like so guys, as you can see, I am done uh, running the machine uh, care cycle, which is the one that is recommended to do your maintenance and care. And it takes approximately just over two hours. And uh, let's just have a look how the machine looks like inside. So that is the machine is all done. It's all clean. The most important thing is inside. It's not clogged up anymore or nothing is in there which you can see the water inside um, the filter is uh, clean so it means there is nothing clogged up or leftovers of any dirty remnants of food stuff uh, the arms are working properly and the other arms are working properly and on this middle shelf it is possible to actually adjust so if you want uh if you have dishes which are a little bit higher this one you can actually lift it up and so that way you are having more space inside there so this is the tray for putting your cutleries uh i love this version because in another uh, machine you are able to buy without this tray but one which is having only uh, some tray holder uh, with the cutlery standing upright so with that machine uh, done so uh, this is how you need to take care of your machine to maintain to make sure that you're taking care of it uh, you're following your manufacturer's instructions for use and for care so that the machine can take care of you and your family and your household for a long time to come. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, a like, even consider subscribing so that uh, you will join me and my family as I vlog and as I um, share with you uh, things like this especially in the kitchen and in my household and i do enjoy your company so keep coming and uh keep uh this uh channel going so thank you very much for watching and i do hope to see you in the next one so bye for now